hello, welcome back to a new weekly vlog. I just made some breakfast. I made an avocado bagel with a bunch of seasoning and a bowl of fruit. Cut up some pineapples, strawberries, and blackberries and I'm excited to eat right now. Leif is currently on a bike ride and we're gonna go to the gym when he gets home. So good. I haven't had avocado toast in a while. Probably like a week, but I usually have it so much. How are you guys? What's new? Nothing's really new with me. I've just been hanging out. I've been trying to get my house clean. Not successful yet. I still have some stuff to pick up, but I was telling Leif yesterday, I was trying to film a TikTok and I like couldn't find a place in our house that wasn't messy to film it. And I was like, that's when you know it's bad, when there's not one corner of your house that is like super tidy. We don't have a ton of storage here. So when I accumulate more stuff, if I get sent stuff or whatever, if I don't get rid of things, then our house starts to get very cluttered. So that's where I'm at right now where I'm trying to be organized but I just have too much stuff in a small space. I need to get rid of some stuff because it's starting to just get way too cluttered. It's so weird also, I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I will like have no motivation or energy during the day. And then it's like 9 or 10 p.m. and I'm like, I'm gonna organize everything right now. So last night it was like 9 p.m. I got out of the shower and I was like, okay, I'm gonna organize our closet a little bit more. I got a garbage bag and I just started loading stuff into it that I like didn't want anymore started trying to organize my like underwear drawer and my workout stuff because it was all just like thrown in my closet. It was stressing me out. So I feel like sometimes when I start to get overwhelmed, it's because my space is cluttered and I just need to like declutter everything so I can like then work on the things I need to work on. So that's what I've been up to for the past like day and I still have a lot to do. We still have just like random stuff everywhere. Like this huge suitcase thing is full of Leif's camera gear because we did a video shoot yesterday for a brand. And so all his camera stuff was out. And like I said, we just like don't have much space to put stuff. So I'm just on my cleaning journey still. Leif just got home from his bike ride. He's nice and sweaty. Can't see the sweat. Oh. But I do need a haircut. How many miles did you ride? Um, not that many. 13. 13? Yeah. I mean, on a bike, it's not that much. I thought you were gonna say like two. When you said not that many, they were gonna say like two miles. Nice. I was supposed to do 15, but... Got too tired? Well, I didn't know where to go. I had like a route in mind, but mm -hmm. got lost. Oh. It seems like it would be kind of fun to cycle. Seems like it would be kind of therapeutic and like... But... It also seems scary to clip your feet in and be like stuck. And it just scares me that it, that cars are whizzing past you. I don't know. It kind of freaks me out. But it does seem like it'd be an awesome exercise. Um, I wanted to show you guys my vitamins that I take every morning. Well, I think I've already shown you guys these or you probably know. But I take the Ritual Essential Prenatals. And then this vitamin D from Ancient Nutrition. Because I was a little bit low on vitamin D as my test results came back when I went to the fertility doctor a little while ago. And then I usually take a Claritin for my allergies, especially when the seasons are changing. I feel like my allergies get bad, but they haven't been that bad lately. So that's been good. It's so hard for me to remember to take vitamins. I literally have to put it on my to-do list or else I just forget. I don't know why it's so hard for me to remember, but I literally had to write down, I was making my to-do list for last night for today. And I was like, in the morning, water and vitamins with your breakfast. You can technically take these uh, prenatals without breakfast which is really nice because it has like a no nausea thing but whoa <gasps> yummy that looks so good going to the beach what time is it 3 57 p.m and i'm wearing a really freaking cute fabletics outfit i'll show you guys later i'll show you the fit because this lighting is not very good but we're heading to the beach we're gonna hang out leif brought his bodyboard wait did you bring a wetsuit or are you just gonna get in there i brought a wetsuit nice. i need a wetsuit i think the Water temperature is like 56 degrees. Yeah, that's why I was, I didn't see a wetsuit, but I was thinking, wait, you're gonna be freezing. I brought my book. I also brought a juice. Here she is. She's called the After Party Cold Pressed Juice, Carrot, Apple, Lemon, Beetroot, and Ginger. This is from Whole Foods. I love this brand, Urban Remedy. Sorry if I'm squinting. I need to put these sunglasses on, except these are kind of an example of sunglasses that don't really like do the job. You know what I mean? They're cute, but it's like, they're not blocking much.
home from the beach. It was so amazing. We saw so many dolphins and they were jumping out of the water. I tried to capture it on the vlog. I hope you can see them. I obviously haven't like edited the footage yet. It's like so much closer in real life, but on the camera it kind of looks further away, but it was so amazing. We were freaking out. Everyone on the beach was like, that beach is the same one we saw the whale at. And I think other dolphins, like there's been so much action over there. So there was also a whale there today that was really close to the, to the shore as well. I didn't really see it, Leif was telling me about it, but um, yeah, it's really crazy. Also, I just dropped my camera so hard. I'm like shocked it's not broken. It fell from like up here and dropped to the ground. And then there was this weird like error it was giving me. So I'm just like really hoping that my camera continues to work because that would suck if I had to buy a whole new camera because I was being stupid. But basically I came in here and had a lot of stuff in my hands and I tried to set it on, like balance it on this pot and it just fell on the ground. So love that for me. I just got a package from Sephora. It was waiting for me on our porch and I have no idea what this is. Like I do not remember at all. I remember I ordered some stuff during the Sephora sale but most of it I ordered like I picked it up in store. I ordered it online and then I picked it up in store. But then I remember that there was a few items that I couldn't pick up in store, so I just had to get them shipped to me, but I do not remember what they are. So we're in for a surprise together. Oh, I remember this now. I was like, this is heavy. Okay, look how freaking orange it is. Goodbye. I got some new day shampoo because I'm almost out. This stuff, is amazing it smells so freaking good and it's cute love you amber so i got some of that i'm almost out of my shampoo and then i got this which maybe i'll do this tonight maybe it's a youth to the people super clay mask purifying mask here she is you guys want to get unready with me let's do it currently drinking this poppy ginger lime I'm a real beverage gal lately, apparently. I've been liking switching up the beverages. I've always been just a water drinker, but a little healthy soda never hurt anyone. That juice that I had earlier, um, I'm actually saving half of it for the morning. I'm telling you guys the most unnecessary details of my life right now, but the point of me saying that was that I don't like to drink like a ton of different types of beverages in a day. I usually try and just stick to like one or two because otherwise I feel like I just don't drink water and I'm like so dehydrated. I never really showed you guys my outfit and it's so cute. These like white lounge biker short kind of things. More just like lounge shorts. They're like really soft material. And then this really cute bra. They're both from Fabletics. Huge fan. I want to do this face mask tonight, but I need to wash my face off first and do some skincare. Let me give you guys a run through of my nighttime skincare. First, I take off my makeup, my eye makeup with this Lancome stuff. It's one of the only makeup removers, like specifically eye makeup removers that really takes off the makeup. I feel like a lot of times I'm just still left with like mascara and eyeliner if I don't use this stuff. So I really like it. I've been using it for years. That's what it looks like. I might need to order another one kind of soon. But I use that and then these cotton pads. I have some reusable ones, but I think they're in storage because I haven't been able to find them. Also, I'm like so out of breath right now. It's because I was doing a TikTok dance, okay? Don't judge me. Eye makeup and some face makeup is off. I need to do this tighter. Okay, now I'm an egg. Next step, pharmacy cleansing balm. Put this all over for face makeup. I actually didn't have very much face makeup on today. I just had some sunscreen and concealer, so I don't really need, oh, and I guess I had some bronzer and blush on, but not too much stuff, so I didn't have like foundation on is what I meant. So I just rub this stuff all over and then rinse it off. Honestly, I love my skincare routine. I love taking care of my skin, but I will say, on days that I wear makeup, I feel like it's just like such a process because you have to take the makeup off first, then cleanse your face, then do serums and stuff, and it's just like a hassle. That's why I try to only like get ready and do my makeup a few times a week. We're gonna cleanse, baby. Curology check. Gentle cleanser. I really love it. A lot of you guys say you do it with your, you only cleanse with one hand too because I mentioned that in the last vlog. I was like, I don't know why I 
like just cleanse with one hand. I don't, I really don't know why because it feels like it would be probably much more effective to do it with two. But a lot of you guys say that you're the same way. But then some of you did say I was weird and you said that you do it with two hands. So I don't know. Let's get into it. Face mask time. So, ooh, this is a beautiful color. Okay, apply an even layer to clean skin, leave on for 10 minutes and then rinse off. So let's do it. I'm really trying to eat cleaner lately as I just got done eating literal chicken fingers and fries today, but I'm, I really believe in like balance. I don't stick to any sort of diet and I never want to promote sticking to any sort of diet because I think it's kind of unrealistic um, to be like counting your calories or your macros. At least for me, it's definitely not realistic and it's not something I even want to be doing. I want to just live a balanced lifestyle, but I feel like in the past little bit, I've kind of been eating like a lot more processed foods and I can totally feel it making me just feel more like sluggish and tired and like, um, I feel like it definitely doesn't help my skin to be doing that. So I really am trying to eat a little bit cleaner lately. I'll show you guys if I, you know, find any good healthy recipes or anything in case any of you guys are on the same journey. I'm a smurf. Leave it on for 10 minutes. I was gonna take a bath tonight, but honestly, I'm not feeling it. I think I kind of just wanna rinse my body off because I'm kind of sandy from the beach and had like sunscreen on. But then I kind of just wanna like lay in bed and relax and read my book. So that's what I think I'm gonna do. What's poppin'? I've done absolutely nothing today. Just kidding, I'm kind of exaggerating. I just did a podcast interview on a different podcast, so I got presentable, did a little bit of light makeup, but I have not been wearing makeup all day. I got in my workout clothes, wearing this really cute Fabletics look. Was gonna go to the gym, and then just decided against it because I was just feeling so like, I don't even know, just kind of like, eh. I actually ended up just laying on the couch and reading my book for a while. And then we went on a walk, Leif, Lady and I, and it felt really good. And I'm almost done with it. I have this much left, so not that much longer. I'm like so hooked, it's really good. I really like it, I've been really enjoying it. So yeah, I just ordered some Chipotle for Leif and I. And Chelsea's gonna be over here probably in like 20 minutes. We're gonna record our podcast get our dinner. And yeah, it's just been kind of a lazy day, but I was actually, I was just saying this on the podcast that I was being interviewed on. I heard somewhere, I cannot remember like where it was, but they were saying like the difference between being lazy and like recharging or resting, if your body needs rest, is like you'll be recharged afterwards. Basically just if your body needed rest. And then if not, you will be maybe like even more stressed after you like rest if you're just procrastinating or actually being lazy. So today I was just telling life, I'm like, I'm really trying to like get more in tune with my body and understand when I genuinely need to rest and when I'm just like procrastinating and I'm overwhelmed and I just want to be lazy. So today I was like, I think I actually need to rest. Like I think I actually do need to take a second. So that's why I was reading for a while, just was getting lost in my book, which is so nice. And then I fell asleep for like an hour and lady was just snuggling with me and I woke up and I was like, okay, now I'm ready to like go on a walk. I did a little run during the walk also. So I got like a little workout in, a little sweat in. And I came home and just like drank a bunch of water. And I was like, I feel so much better now and more energized. So that's how I know that my body like actually did need that time. So I feel like that's super important to like recognize if you're just like putting stuff off because you're overwhelmed. And then in an hour, are you just gonna be even more stressed out if you're just like sitting around doing nothing? Or do you wanna just like take a little second, take a nap or whatever you're doing to recharge and to rest. And then afterwards you'll feel more energized and recharged and be able to like, you know, even if you need to take a full day, whatever. Anyway, that was just a little, a little side note in case any of you are feeling the same way. Hello guys, good morning. I'm vlogging from my iPhone right now because I forgot my vlog camera. <laughs> I just got a facial. You can probably see there's like a little spot right there. And then this is the freaking zit that I was telling you guys like would not leave me alone. I told her, I was like, this thing has been here for like three weeks. And she was like, yeah, sometimes when like the cystic acne or the things under the skin, they just like don't want to go away. So she used like a high frequency tool and just like kind of zapped it and did some other stuff. But my skin really does feel so good. And I feel like so glowy and refreshed right now. But I just went and got a an iced matcha from Sun Life, my favorite matcha. I haven't had it in a really long time. 
So I just got that as a little pick me up. Um, I'm gonna head home right now and do some work stuff and get my day going. It's like noon right now. I'm not gonna wear makeup or anything today because after my facial, I like to give my face just like time to breathe. We're going makeup free today, baby. Back home, eating the best snack. Let me put you on. Pretzel crisps, these are the everything ones, dipped in this hummus. This is the best hummus, I get it from Whole Foods. It's so good, it has really, really clean ingredients and it's delicious. It's like definitely my favorite hummus. Leif needs to get a hard drive from, I believe, Best Buy. And I was like, should I come with you? And he was like, yeah, maybe we can go get some food after or something. So I think we're gonna go on a little date to get a hard drive because we have to work on a video that we've been working on for a brand and we need more space. Our hard drive is like almost full and we keep all of our stuff on external hard drives so that our computer is not like the slowest thing on earth. So yeah, that's what we're up to. I also bought this stuff from um, my esthetician, which by the way, I go get my facials at Bijou Beauty. I absolutely love them. They are just the best. I've been going to Lauren for a few years now, I think. Ever since I've moved to LA, really. The space is so beautiful and they're just so nice and they always do the best job. So she's also helped my skin a lot. I feel like getting regular facials has definitely helped me keep my skin clear. I just got this oil that I'm gonna start using with my gua sha, which is like that uh, tool that you kind of like use to sculpt your face. And I've had the tool for a few weeks now. I honestly have only used it a few times just cause I forget to use it. But she was telling me like, oh, use this like oil, use the, just a few of these drops and it will do really well with the gua sha. So it's called the Bio Elements Do Lux and she used it today on me. I was saying, I'm like, I am always a little bit skeptical of facial oils because I have had some that have broken me out. I have combination skin, but anyway, she was like, I really love them. Like it should be good. You don't need very much. You just need like two or three, three drops, but it will really hydrate your skin and it'll be really good for the gua sha. So I was like, okay. So I'm going to try it out. We'll see if it gives me any problems, but I'm excited about that. And then I also got some Bronde Lash, which is just like lash serum to make your eyelashes grow. And I used to have this, but again, I'm just like dumb and I didn't use it very consistently. And at this point it's like expired, like it's been way too long. So I just got a new one. And we'll stay tuned with the uh, results on that as well, I guess. Hard drive secured. We got a five terabyte one. I was gonna show it to you guys. Blaze put it in the back seat, it's right there. Should we put the seatbelt on? Pro tip, if you have greasy hair, put it in a slick backed bun and then no one will even know. They'll just think you're going for a fashion statement when really your hair is just oily. So that's what I did today. It's very bright, but we're gonna go get some lunch. We're gonna go to PF Chang's for old time's sake. Haven't been there in so long, but it's kind of right near where we are. And I was like, hey, we should go there because I, I mean, not like we even used to go there that much, but I feel like it like brings back old memories for me for some reason. Like when we were first married. Yeah, when we were like first we married. Kind of often. Yeah. So we're going to go to PF Chang's. We got fortune cookies. We're going to open our fortunes right now. I'm sorry. What? Mine has no fortune. Come on. Okay, I got one. You're not fortunate. No fortune. I'm starting to believe that dream is true. Mine says, P.F. Chang's is credited with putting lettuce wraps on the food map. Mine says, take some time for needed relaxation tomorrow. Yes! Let's go to the beach. Dude, I got no fortune. Last night I had a dream that a coyote was chasing me and trying to, trying to attack me. I looked it up the next morning, or this morning, I, woke, I looked it up on Google. What does it mean if a coyote is chasing me in my dream? It said that it means someone is planning a big, what does it say? Making Some, a huge plan to... Someone is making a huge plan to trap me, that I better watch my back, that someone is deceitful in my life. And now this, goodbye. Just got home, I changed outfits. We're gonna go on a little walk with Lady. I just got a package that I'm so excited about. I just ordered some new hair, like claw clips from this really cute brand, MEJ. And I'm just really excited. I was like, I need to show you guys because I haven't seen them yet. So I'm taking them out of the box right now and we're gonna look at them together. Okay. Number one, this cute little pink butterfly clip. How cute is that? I wanna put it like, put my hair half up and do it in the back. Oh, <gasps> so cute. We move that brown jacket. It's kind of cramping my style. Thank you. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at this clip I just got. Nice. Isn't that cool? Okay, the next one is this little baby <gasps> cherry one. This is so cute. I'm going to freak out. I love it so much. Wait, I did not remember buying four. I thought I only bought three, but I have two left. Oh yeah, this is a really, really cute one. This green sparkly one. I thought it would work really well with my red hair and I'm gonna dye my hair even more red soon. I've been debating whether I should get extensions or not for the summer. I think I should and I wanna dye my hair super red. And I was like, this would just be so freaking cute with red hair, so I love that. Here's the last one. Just has this kind of like swirly pink, yellowish, orangish thing. I like how big it is. I like how big these two are. I think they're like the same size. They're like the extra large ones and I feel like my hair is getting kind of long enough to where I need like a bigger one, but I can still do like little half up things with these two. So I think these are so cute for summer. I love all these colors. These are really good quality and like really unique ones. I love like on this cherry one, there's like these rhinestones up here. So I just love the details. They're super, super pretty and just like well-made. Also, I got in a very exciting package today. I, I hate to be this person, I really do, because I can't show you it. But all I have to say is really exciting, very cute things are coming to Balanced Boss. And you guys should just follow along with the Instagram. I'll put it right here to be like the first one to be updated, but I'm so, so excited. This has been a long time in the works and we're finally making headway on it. Stay tuned on the Instagram. Obviously I'll update you guys here too, but if you guys wanna, I think we'll probably announce it and show stuff first on the Instagram. So check it out. Guys, I feel like my old past self with this bun, I just threw my hair up in a bun. My hair is so gross, I need to shower. I'm gonna shower in like just a second, but I wanna show you guys my breakfast. Well, my first breakfast. I might have like a little avocado bagel or something in a little bit, but it's this dairy-free Kite Hill vanilla almond milk yogurt. And then I just put some uh, granola and some berries in this little cup for a quick starting breakfast. It's really, really good. It honestly tastes like a donut or something. I don't know why it's tasting like a donut to me, but it's really good. What's up, peeps? I just got out of the shower. Letting my hair dry. This thing is the best thing ever. This little hair towel dryer. It's so nice because it's so small. I don't know about anyone else, but I didn't put it on very well actually. But you know when you get out of the shower and you put your towel on your head and it's like just weighing you down and it's so heavy? For me at least, that's how it is. So I really like this little thing, but I'm gonna make myself a little bagel. I'm gonna put some uh, of this on one half. It is the herb uh, sunflower cream cheese. So it's plant-based and has some probiotics in it. Never tried it, so have no idea. The brand is Sparrow. And then I also just sliced up an avocado and I'm gonna use that for the other half. This is kind of an interesting color. It looks like cement or like clay or something. But let's give her, ooh, it smells good. Nice and herby. Here we go. Okay, on my avocado toast, I usually do some salt to start. And anyone else just like love salt. Everything but the bagel seasoning. It does have some salt in it, but I feel like for me, it's not enough. Smoked paprika and chili flakes. That's like my typical seasonings. Here we are. Let me try this. Uh, I didn't put anything else but that on it. I'm gonna try it. Mmm, that's good. Oh, I forgot I have an everything bagel. So that definitely adds to it. I like that. And the avocado one. Delicious. Here's Leif's little health food station with his bowl of berries. That looks so good. And yogurt. All the fixings. We're gonna podcast. This is one of our first times back at the studio. We're actually going to the new Dear Media studio, which I've never been to. It's on just like a different floor than it used to be on. So I'm excited. We're getting interviewed for the Sister Diary podcast. Super cute girls, so can't wait. The interview was so fun. I have missed podcast interviews, like especially in person. Obviously, it's been so long since we've done them and Dear Media got a new studio. So it was really fun to actually go there. And it felt like I was kind of like getting back into the swing of like actually going and working. They are so cute. And I'll definitely let you guys know when the episode's out on my Instagram or on the What We Said Instagram, so stay tuned on there. I finished the mother-in-law book that I've been telling you guys about and I really enjoyed it. I feel like I would totally recommend it. It's definitely 
like gonna keep you on the edge of your seat and it was a pretty like easy read and it also wasn't too like graphic i don't know i liked it so now i'm on to i have two books i like to read like a self-help book and a novel at the same time not literally at the same time obviously but kind of like just go back and forth depending on my mood because like i was telling you guys sometimes if i'm just like feeling overwhelmed i want to kind of like escape by reading a book you know what i mean and kind of just recharge and stuff like that so i like to read a novel that has nothing to do with like business or self-help or anything but then other times when i'm feeling like i want a little inspiration or want to get like pepped up then i like reading self-help books so i usually have like two books at a time that i'm kind of reading at depending on my moods and i have a word of advice don't keep reading a book if you're not like so obsessed with it because to me it kind of like ruins reading for me if i'm just like i just need to finish this book like sometimes you just don't like the book and it's fine. You can just move on or you're not in the mood for it and you can like catch up with it later. Anyway, my books right now that I'm reading, I just started this one. So this is called Hello Habits. It's all about like embracing new habits and I just got to chapter three, I think. 50 steps for acquiring new habits. I'm really excited to dive into this one. The book that I'm reading that's a novel, I have not actually started this one. I was gonna start it last night, but I was getting tired, so. I'm probably gonna start it today actually. It's called Layla by Colleen Hoover. And I don't know if I've seen anyone's review of this book. I feel like Colleen Hoover, I definitely read one of her books and I can't remember which one it's called right now. But yeah, I'm excited to read this. This is just a novel. It's like, I think it's kind of thriller, romantic vibes. I don't actually know. I'm like, I now that I think about it, I don't know much about this book. I normally read on my Kindle, but I've kind of been liking reading the physical books lately. Although it's kind of annoying if I want, if I'm trying to like lay down. That's why I love the Kindle because you know when you lay down and then your book's like this and then you have to like, oh, I don't know. It's kind of annoying, but I've been liking reading on the paper. It's crazy because that zit that I've been telling you guys about that she like zapped with the little high frequency thing is like way, way smaller today. It literally like went down in size by so much. Maybe you could have t told already in like the earlier clips I have a little bit of makeup on or like. I've had makeup on for hours now, but it's kind of like over it. So it looks even better because it has like some concealer on it. But when I woke up, it was like so not inflamed at all. And I was like, wow, that's so crazy that she just went in with that little tool and like zapped it. And just my facial has made my skin a lot better. Oh my gosh. After struggling with acne, like having clear skin is such a gift. And every time my skin is clear or if I only have like one zit, I'm like, Thank you. This is really nice. Shout out Curology, facials, and drinking water, and eating a little bit cleaner. I feel like all those things have to do with it, but, and being consistent with my skincare. I think there's a lot going into it, but I'm just so grateful that my skin's like kind of cooperating lately. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I think Blake and I are gonna watch a movie or do something, have a little date, maybe make some dinner. Thank you guys so much for watching my vlog. Thanks for all the support on YouTube. I really, really appreciate it. I love you guys. And I just really love vlogging and I love YouTube so much. So thanks so much for being here. I will see you guys next week. Goodbye.